Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show Anniversary. Yeah! Ooh. All right, so this is episode 2050, baby. Micro milestone, I guess. I don't know. Are we going to really do that every time we reach a 50th issue, probably 50th episode? Not I don't really. know. Not really. I mean, even if we do 2100, no. It's, it would be like 2500, right? Yeah. Or 3000 or 3500, right? I don't know. I mean, because the way we do cast is going to be an anniversary every week. Yeah, that's true. So it's just 2050, guys. All right. So we're going to talk about box office um, because we got some surprises. Lion King is not a surprise that it's number one, but it's a surprise how much money it made uh, this weekend. So now everything put together, we got Lion King has $962 million. Damn. Almost a billion dollars in two weeks, which it will have that Monday. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's great for Disney, but let, let's let see what else happens. So once upon a time in Hollywood, good 40 movie. million. 40 million. Um, is it good? Not really, because it needs to make 90 to tie, and then it needs to make more than 90. So in the opening week, that's all you got. That's not that great. Um, and then we got, let's see. I mean, that's the thing, Scott. With everything coming out, I don't know, like next week it's going to drop. So mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's going to make its $90 million. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, because it was a good movie. I can see it dropping to number, let's see. It may stay at two, and it may drop to three. With no, uh, it's definitely dropping uh, three because Hobbs and Shaw's coming. Yeah, Hobbs and Shaw's coming out. All right, so Spider Man Far From Home made the billion. It's one billion thirty six million. So that's excellent. Congratulations, Spider Man Far From Home, the first Spider Man in history to reach billion dollars. Excellent. Uh, Toy Story Four. Toy Story Four is at nine seventeen. So I'm really hoping it could cross a billion. That would be nice. Uh, and then we have Crawl, which is just hanging in, $45 million. Yeah. It's, it's picking up the leftovers, so to speak. Yeah. Yesterday also is staying in the same spot, uh, $109 million. That's picking up the leftovers. Uh, Aladdin is number seven. Aladdin's $1 billion, $9 million. So that, look, that drops out of the top ten. You do what you had to do. Yeah. We have Stuber's hanging in there, too, $25 million. I don't know if that's a success. Um, Annabelle comes home, 207. Pretty damn good. Uh, we're going to jump to Secret Life of Pets to uh, 331 million. So it's making a little money. It's been getting up there. Avengers yeah. Endgame is, listen to this. I'm going to share, I'm going to share this now. And again, in case you didn't know, when people talk smack, I am a ball buster with responses when they start screwing around. So I like to shove things in people's face, so to speak. So for the person that said that Endgame just beat Avatar, um, when Avatar was 2788, yeah, 2793, okay? <laughs> and still making money, buddy, all right? So don't tell me it just beat Avatar, because no, it did not. 2,793,000,000. Thank you very much, okay? And I don't want to hear it because, again, it's in the theaters. It's not even re-released. It's nope, still it's not. This week, it will still be making money. All right? Believe that. All right. So besides that, um, we are going to talk about – let's see what we have here. I know there's a few things. Uh, let's see. I'm out of my screen now. One second. Okay. So – Turns out, we they, they may do Fast and the Furious movies in space. Oh, We've heard God. this. If this happens, it will be after. It'll kill the franchise. Well, the franchise, it, it, it's on its way towards the end. I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe. But the, the ninth one is coming out. So the tenth one, they'll probably take a risk because it's the tenth one. Probably go into yeah, space. Still, I'm the ninth still one will do well. having it in space. Come on. If you're going to do something like that, then trash that and bring in Machete. Do a, do a joint venture with Machete then. Right. Right. 
Um, look, I, I, I enjoy, I, I wasn't into the Fast and the Furious, but we covered it. And it was only since I was going out with Sharon that she got me interested. She took me, we went to see, she wanted to see Fast and the Furious 6, I think. Mm -hmm. So then after that, I was hooked. I thought it was excellent. Yes, yeah, 6 was the very first Fast and the Furious movie I saw. Yeah, that was mine too. So uh, Gail Gadot was in that also. Um, all right, so that's... Yeah, better, yeah, if they're going to do something like that, then use use the Fast and Furious franchise to spin off, uh, spin off characters or take video game characters that you know that's not going to be able to uh, do things on their own. Right. And introduce them there and then spin them off. Okay. Uh, we also got word that there is a rumor going around that Netflix is going to be picking up a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live yep. action, uh, adult oriented yep. um, series. And again, it's not definite yet. But they're in talks. Um, yeah, and we do know we're getting a movie. We're getting a yeah, movie. When that, when that comic first debuted, it was black and white. Right. And it was not the whole cowabunga, let's eat pizza stuff. And then they split the partners because yeah. the guy sold his shares. Yeah. Or they both did, I think. And then, but one Plus, another out. little bit of advice, that, that same substance that mutated the turtles was the same substance, or at least came from the same thing that... Uh, took uh, Matt Murdock's side away. Yeah, that's a link. That's, but that's not, that's no, because that's not the same. If you look that up, you look that up, the yeah. same canister, the same exact canister it is, uh, yep, they, they, uh, Marvel even said that too. Marvel said it? That Yeah, Marvel said it. It's two different companies. It's two different companies, but still, the mm -hmm. same, uh, same canister that mutated the turtles came, is the same Came off the same truck that uh, blinded Matt Murdock as a young kid. That's on Scott, not me. He'll Look it up. He'll take heat for that one. All right. I will because I'm. I ain't saying a word about that. that one. Ah. All right. So we have. Um, yeah, I think. Tur Look, Turtles Three. We heard that Michael Bay was going to do it. Yeah. Uh, if if they do a Netflix thing, so what? That would be great. It's not going to hurt it. It's going to be separate. Yeah, it's not going to hurt it at all. At all. You could do both. Because look what they're doing now with Chucky. Chucky in the movies, Chucky mm -hmm. on TV. It's it's really not a big deal. The um, Chucky movie was a decent one as it, as it was, so. Yeah. So, let's see. What else do we have to talk about? I know people had requested us to watch The Boys. Um. I don't have oh, Netflix. Boys, yes, I'm going to watch that here when it comes out. Yeah, I don't have Netflix, so I'm not going to be able to see that now. I do, and I'll check it out. You'll check it out. He'll let, he'll let us know. Because um, I, I, I checked out Doom Patrol. and <laughs> Doom Patrol was great, and then I, I watched Doom Patrol, yeah. Doom Patrol was excellent. So that was a good find there. So let's see. What else do we have? Checking my horror there because we were talking. We oh, Jordan Peele directing. Um, that's not definite though. I don't think. No, Jordan it's not. Directing, um, no, that's not one hundred. Directing Blade. That's just talk, right now. Yeah. But I mean, you know what? What else is he doing? I mean, why not? You know, he should do it. Honestly, what is he? Not that much news today. Damn. Oh, I heard that Robert De Niro. Was was gonna do another Scorsese movie, but not like mobster, but like yeah, Flower Moon, I think it's called. Okay. Uh, and I think he's gonna let's see, he's gonna play a uh, a villain. Ooh, nice! Uh, it's gonna be a true crime uh, from the true crime bestseller Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, in 1920s, the story focuses on a start, string of murders of members of the. Osnage Nation in Oklahoma after oil was discovered beneath their land. The series of slayings was one of the fledging FBI's most, uh, the first major homicide investigations. Um, so let's see, De Niro, St. Scorsese and others involved production. Let's see. Uh, De Niro will be playing the murderer Bill Hale. Okay. So that's interesting. That will be So they're gonna be they're gonna be filming, I guess, 
2020. Yeah. So it'll be after that will come out. So, yeah, pretty much. All right. What else? I know it's slim pickings with news, man. What the frick? I keep, yeah, I keep looking every now and then. I'm not finding anything. Not that much stuff. Uh, well, uh, somebody thinks that, you know, Keanu Reeves would be a good Moon Knight. I don't know if they're going to do him because uh, with Keanu Reeves. I think they might be saving Keanu Reeves for something bigger. Like Guardians. I don't know. I mean, uh, not Guardians, but the, a character like uh, maybe uh, Warlock, Adam Warlock. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we have Ryan Reynolds is teasing that Deadpool is part of Phase 5. That is not part of Phase Four. It's part of Phase Five. I don't know. I mean, it could be part of Phase Four, and they just they're not they don't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. All right, we're gonna be back because I have to eat dinner. We'll be back later if anybody's around. If you're around, Scott. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.